Also here this morning, a terrible accident on a bridge in East Boston. A woman killed when the drawbridge opened up and then closed on her. Seven's Nicole Oliverio is live with more on how this can happen. Nicole? Well, Kana, police say that they still aren't even sure how this happened. They are calling it a freak accident and they are continuing to investigate. They say that they've never seen anything like it. A woman crushed to death by a drawbridge in a freak accident on New Year's Eve. Friends of 46-year-old Ora Garcia say they just don't understand. Everybody's in shock and very sad, mm -hmm. especially her daughter. Police say Garcia was walking across the McArdle Bridge in East Boston. She was about halfway across when it started to open for a boat passing through. Investigators say she was in a blind spot where the bridge operator couldn't see her. He could only hear her screaming. The worker tried to lower the bridge to save the woman. Instead, she fell down and was crushed. The employee who gave a statement has been fully cooperative with authorities. He was relieved from the scene due to stress-related issues. Police spent hours investigating. The bridge connects East Boston to Chelsea. People who cross it daily say there are plenty of warning signs if the bridge is going up. Like a horn, it says you know, a bridge coming up. But it's, it's just sometimes people is just not paying attention. Maybe they should make some type of footbridge where it kind of comes down and around so that they're away from all this and then the pedestrians can actually kind of go around it. Friends say the mother of two was on her way to a doctor's appointment and now they have to start the new year without her. She's a good friend and a good mother. She always like every time I have problems, I always talk to her. Police say they found the woman's body on a five foot wide concrete beam that was underneath the bridge and that it was really difficult getting to her. Officers continue to investigate, as does OSHA. That's the latest time in East Boston. Nicole Oliverio, 7 News, Today in New England.